Today is the day to address the issue of the chicken having lice. So I am going to scoop out the entire chicken coop, all the bedding that's in there. There's not very much since I just redid the chicken coop's um, bedding maybe like a month ago. So it only has one layer in there. So I'm going to scoop the entire thing out. And then I'm going to sprinkle the DE all over the floor. I'm also going to uh, make sure that the nesting boxes are cleaned out and put in, um, the DE in those and then put new bedding inside of those. And then I'm going to sprinkle all of the chickens with the DE powder. Let's go. Another problem that I saw while I was sitting here with her is that she has some kind of a lice. I'm gonna see if I can zoom into her head. I can see them popping in and out. See those little specks, you can see them moving. Yes, she has some kind of a lice and I'm guessing the whole flock has this since it's probably spread very easily. So this is the next thing we need to address. So here's what the floor looks like currently. So there's not, not too much in here. Did you find some eggs? Oh, mop head's in there. Hi, mop head. Oh, someone in that one too? Oh, she being so nice to you? Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. That's scary, huh? That wasn't nice, was it? She's so mean. That one's nice. Yeah. You see? You saw an egg. Oh, I see one too. She's mean. Oh, this one's been in here a while. I think maybe she's starting to brood. You look up there. I don't see any eggs up there, babe. They're just in the bottom ones. Yeah. Love to get those, huh? Okay, I got it all scooped out. Now I'm going to use this diametaceous earth. It's food grade, I got it at Baumgars. This 10 pound, 10 and a half pound bag was $20. I'm just going to start sprinkling this on the floor and really good in the corners. So you can see this is a powdery substance. It's almost like a flour texture. I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the floor. I think special attention to corners. So I have the floor all covered with diatomaceous earth. And I have my large flake it's pine shavings. I'm going to bust this bag open and toss it all over, put a new coat of bedding down. I already filled up my duster with the DE that came in this bag. And it says, if you want a light dusting to squeeze it this way, if you want a heavy dusting to squeeze it this way. So a lot more comes out if you hold it like this. If you do it this and you squeeze, it's just a little fine dusting. So I'm gonna wait until evening to do this when the chickens are calmer and they are all in the chicken coop. Okay, the sun is about gone down and the chickens are ready for bed so we're gonna get these guys dusted okay got the light turned on in here so you can see what we're doing you guys ready for your dusting huh 
I am going to use it in this direction and just dust a little bit. And I will be doing this one-handed just to show you what I'm doing for the first couple. So, no. The light on probably isn't a good idea because they're going to think that it's daylight again. But I can't really do this in the dark. What? Why are you looking at me funny? Huh? Huh? Okay, maybe I'll start with him. Her. Do, 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 do. Okay, so uh, I read that they do a pretty good job of cleaning the bugs off themselves, but they can't get the back of their necks. And also they say that mites live under their wings, so we will do, we'll lift their wings up also and spray it under there. And also I have heard that if you put some on the top here that it will work its way down to the rest of the feathers. So, one handed though I can't really show you under the wing, so I'm going to do that. But I'll just basically lift up the wing with my hand and squirt under there. <laughs> I need two hands though, huh guys? Yeah, okay, so let's get to it. How many know who I did and who I didn't do now? You guys are all crazy now. Ow! Oh. I think it's going to work better if I actually pick up each chicken and do them individually with two hands. So, first up. Okay. I don't actually see any lice on her, but I'm going to treat her anyway, just since that one for sure has them. Ah! wing and I'm going to spray underneath it. Just dust. See that? Beautiful. Say goodbye mites. <laughs> goodbye mites. Okay. I'm going to do the other wing. This stuff is really messy by the way. It's basically like, like I said, flour. back of her neck so she can't reach that area. This is tricky. No. You feel like I'm torturing you? Uh, okay, so I'm just going to squirt it along the back of her neck here. If I can get them to come out. Kind of rub it in the back of her neck. There you go. Done. They recommend doing treatment again in a couple days just to get any that might have been missed the first time. But I'm just going to do that to all the chickens and hopefully it solves our chicken lice issue. 